People are dead and one woman is injured after an early morning crash that split a car in two. It happened on Dryland Road in a rural area south of Canby around 5 o'clock this morning. Elise Haas is on the scene and brings us more. Neighbors say this stretch of road is notorious for crashes, but this is the first time people weren't able to walk away. This hill is dangerous. There's wrecks here all the time. In her nearly 20 years of living on South Dryland Road in Canby, Jennifer Slide says this crash was unlike all the others. I woke up at um, 4.59. I thought it was an earthquake. I felt the house shake. We haven't had any fatalities yet, so this is a first. Three people died after a single car lost control crashing through trees. Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says it's amazing the driver made it out alive. There is substantial damage. The vehicle has been cut in half. An ambulance rushed the driver to a nearby hospital where she's being treated and questioned because authorities believe speed and impairment were likely contributing factors in this deadly crash. Neighbors say it's not unusual to see drivers is going 80 to 90 miles per hour down this 55 mile per hour stretch of road. I keep looking at the road and trying to figure out what can they do to correct it and the only thing to do is slow down. Deputies say they try to enforce the speed limit and they hope people will listen. Slow down out in these county roads uh, for sure but uh, speed kills and this is a grim reminder of that. And we're still waiting on an update from officials as they work to learn the identities of the victims in the crash. Reporting in Clackamas County, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.